r slash credit what makes you not want to have kids gestures broadly like everything all the reasons i can barely take care of myself sometimes it feels like can't possibly take on another human more selfishly there's still a lot of things i want to do that i couldn't if i had a kid lastly just a pessimistic view of the world and the desire to not want to bring new life into that i couldn't have written it better every time i just have black coffee for breakfast i wonder how in heaven's sake am i supposed to take care of a kid from childbirth up to his or her or their 20s i mean they can have black coffee for breakfast too are you my niece trying to convince me to feed you coffee your mom said no kiddo sorry my mental health and financial situation i wouldn't want to raise a kid the same way i was raised yep same here and here but honestly i just loathe the idea of pregnancy or children i think they would ruin my life my body my finances i'd waste 21 years and come out haggard and broken dead at the end of it all i would hate that kid so fucking much for ruining my life I know it wouldn't be their fault, but I couldn't bring myself to like them, if I was forced to have a child against my will. Of course that will never happen, and if it does god help that child, I'd abort in Canada. Those kids who have parents that are perfectly normal, but still somehow act like mini serial killers. Yeah, nature vs nurture, as the parent of two kids, and sibling of six, it's clear to me personalities are simply a dice roll. See that terrifies me for having another. My daughter is perfect, the quiz that's had a rash. What if I have another child and it's a complete fucking lemon? It's irreversible. You can't unhave kids when you've committed to it. So when you have all those doubts and fears you might not be a good parent. It's hard to take the plunge. Plus I'd have to find someone to have a kid with and make more money for it to be viable. But I think they're secondary to actually wanting to go through with it. You can unhave them but it is generally frowned upon. Edit, I cannot believe this has more votes than all my previous comments combined. It's intriguing, but thanks. Somehow this even got a wholesome award, the irony. I was talking with a co-worker the other day about the annoying kids we get in the place, and said I bet in ancient times when parents had enough of their kids they probably took them to a cliff somewhere, and threw them over the edge, would have been pretty easy to get away with back before modern laws and cameras slash people everywhere. I don't doubt today some parents have thought about this, but it's much harder to do now. I spent a decade in wilderness search and rescue. A disturbing number of parents dress their small children in earth tones, or actual camouflage, when they are out hiking and camping. Then, surprise, the kids get lost, and they are really difficult to find, because they blend in so well with the environment. I can't help but wonder if it was on purpose, even if only subconsciously. I know I look dumb with my bright orange windbreaker, but I always carry it on hikes, so I can be seen. If something happens to me, I think you look smart and fashionable. Money, responsibility, not having any good genes to pass on. Amen there. This is the correct answer. My entire family, myself included, are fat ugly fucks with a history of mental illness. My genes are horrid. I'm also never going to make any decent money. I've been living in poverty level for my entire life and I'll continue to be living in poverty level until the day I die. And my fucking disability. I don't want my child to have the same disability as mine. Kids, the best birth control is seeing everyone else's shitty kids. I love my niece and nephew. Every time I see them, I have a blast. And every time I leave I think, thank fuck that's over. Figuratively and literally shitty. The fact that nothing really makes me want to have them. I feel like you should have an overwhelming desire to become a parent. I don't. So why would I have a kid? As a child of a parent who didn't actively want them. Thank you for thinking about what this does to a kid. This would make for another great ass credit. People who resent their kids. Why do you do that? Right? If anything needs to be tied to a strong desire it's becoming a parent slash bringing another human into the world. Like, it shouldn't be something that you do, because that's just how it is. If you tell your friends you're considering buying a sports car, you'll get questions like, are you sure you can afford it? You know it needs special care, more than daily drivers right? Do you think it's practical? Why do you want it specifically? And if you answer with I just want to, just because, you're immature and you're making a bad financial decision. 
Somehow it's okay when it comes to bringing another life into the world. I just want to. If anyone asks questions like, are you sure you'll be a good parent? Are you willing to sacrifice anything for them? If it comes down to it, can you afford to raise them right? They are called inconsiderate party poopers who shit on others most noble endeavor. Somehow buying a sports car needs to be thought out more carefully than bringing another human into the world. Exactly. This question should absolutely be the other way around. People who have kids are the ones who need a reason to make that decision, since it's a huge one that brings along great responsible, not people like me who don't. I mean, why don't I want to be a doctor? Why don't I want to shave my head? It doesn't make a lot of sense to ask it this way. I would be a terrible parent. I would be a terrible parent, but a great uncle. I had this fantasy until I actually became an uncle. I can handle kids fine if I need to, but it's exhausting. So turns out I'm not that great of an uncle as I just don't find entertaining kids motivating. But I get to buy Lego again, which is great. I mean there was nothing stopping you from buying Lego anyway. Not trusting myself enough that I'd be motivated enough to take care about them constantly and treat them the way they deserve. Edit. I guess this could be interpreted as a fear of commitment or running away from responsibility. But for now I'm committed to my freedom. I seek spaciousness. I told my sister a few years ago that I don't want kids because I'm too selfish. I like my freedom, my peace and quiet, my life with just me and my husband, where money is still sometimes tight, but it's just us. She told me that was the most unselfish thing she'd ever heard. Imagine if you bout a peer and family pressure and had a kid you didn't want slash couldn't take care of the way a kid needs. Knowing yourself enough to not put you or your hypothetical child in that situation is incredibly smart and not at all selfish. Your sister's right. Having a kid can be one of the ultimate acts of selfishness in many circumstances. People often have them because they want to have them, even when it's often a very bad idea to have them. Watching my sister's kid get kicked out of Baker for slamming a kid's face into a table and hitting a teacher he's three and the most difficult kid I've met. Edit, lol. I've got replies saying he's being abused, and replies saying he's being gentle parented it's a catch 22. No matter what you're either too rough or too gentle he lives at my house with his mom and sister. I usually wfh. No one beats him, and he is regularly punished. Now someone's gonna say he's punished too much. He just gives no fucks. Growing up with an inexplicably evil older sibling. Kids aren't always sweet and innocent. True. And the fucked up thing is, sometimes kids are just shitty. You can have amazing supportive and loving parents and an absolute shit of a kid. I have one easygoing kid and one very difficult behavioral challenged kid. I mean I'm pretty sure he is taking years off my life with stress and worry. I used to think kids were a product of their home life. And as long as we were loving and stable, our kids would have no big issues. Well I have learned that that is not always true. And I no longer judge parents as harshly as I used to. I've been dealing with a mentally disabled older brother for nearly all my life. He's 32 years old, but acts like a 7 years old nearly all the time. I love him to death, but after so long of dealing with him growing up, I'm 22. I just do not have the patience to handle something like that again. Edit. Wow. Didn't expect this to blow up. Thanks for the kind and understanding comments everyone everyone else struggling with something similar know that you're not alone it may feel exhausting at days and sometimes you might wish you weren't even in such a posture but cherish those moments you share with them where they're the happiest you've ever seen them because at the end of the day you're all they have left i fear for my brother's future every day and hope that he grows up well without the need for us to care for him 24 over 7 this is my big one i feel terrible for this but the fear of having a child that isn't going to grow into a fully independent person with no limitations stop me dead. If there was a guarantee they would be of average mental capability, I might reconsider. Pregnancy. This is 90% of it for me. I've always been terrified of pregnancy, but I thought I'd feel more comfortable with it as I got older. No. I'm 34 and the thought of being pregnant still freaks me out to no end. I'd love to adopt, but I don't think I ever want to be pregnant. Watching my wife's stomach grow and her deal with all the side effects 
watching them go and slip the back of her vagina open to allow more space, seeing my son ejected. I was like, fuck, I could never have done this in her place. I've been clinically depressed for almost a decade. Postpartum depression is one of the things that terrifies me about the prospect of having kids. Also I'm in no way mentally stable enough to be a parent. I feel this in my soul. Everything about pregnancy, childbirth, and postpartum life just sounds terrifying. Oh, I may experience wild hormonal swings that make me feel crazy? Cool. I may lose teeth because of increased ingivitis and my body prioritizing nutrition to the fetus? Awesome. I may wind up with one combo vagina slash rectum after giving birth, instead of two separate holes? Fantastic. I will probably always pee myself a little when I run, laugh, or sneeze. Wonderful. I won't be able to take lots of important medication for the two years that pediatricians recommend nursing. Great. There's a non-trivial risk that I will literally die while giving birth. Just peachy. I won't be able to eat deli meat, sushi, large fish, coffee, or alcohol for a year middle. Delightful. I'll probably bath my guts out for 7 weeks. Glorious. I'll spontaneously leak milk from my boots if I hear a baby crying. Marvelous. I might get a yeast infection on my nipples from breastfeeding my baby. Magnificent. Editing to add other common concerns commenters have brought up. I might get gestational diabetes while pregnant, leading to even more sensitive diet and medication management. Splendid. I could have, even more, severe acid reflux and gallbladder attacks. Joyous. The hemorrhoids are coming for me. Stupendous. I might wind up with a hernia that takes another abdominal surgery to fix. Stella. After end, food, and insurance I only come away with $200 a month profit, which is usually eaten up by a single doctor visit or necessary car part, and I live with two roommates. $200 profit? You are balling my friend. Save some for the rest of us, Jeff. For real, I hope that easier times await you. How you flexing these racks? Thanks though lol. I don't wanna have a responsibility to raise something that will end up like me, relatable. All the suffering I have, and all life in time, is enough to convince me to make the choice not to procreate. Adoption may be if I was rich and successful. Yeah adoption could be cool, if you can afford to. The idea of being responsible for a human being isn't for me. I can barely take care of myself. That's a mature respectable input I think a solid foundation is crucial for raising children. So that's it for today. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe. See you next time.